Okay, I thought I'd try a test out of my own wallet. I've seen on uh, YouTube so many channels that have uh, had parts made by PCB Way in China. Uh, not just circuit boards, like the name would imply, but they also do CNC and 3D printing. They do all kinds of stuff. But So what I was really interested in is their 3D printing, because they'll 3D print in metal, as well as, of course, you know, all your resins and everything else. So I thought, and I did already, we're going to get into that. This is a metal cage for our little uh, time machine here. You know, this guy right here. A little time machine display project, the metal cage that uh, goes on top of there. So I had uh, made some in brass. I had uh, resin 3D printed some. This isn't painted yet, obviously. And I'd even uh, FDM printed some, non-painted. So I was interested in, in two things. One, uh, I'd like to get a sample of their resin printed version of this little uh, wire lamp cage, and I'd like to get a 3D printed aluminum metal. They'll also do steel and all kinds of stuff, but they're more expensive. The aluminum was the cheapest of this wire cage. And the goal is to find out the uh, final cost for the parts, uh, when the parts arrive, what the quality's like. And, um, well, I think that's where we can start. I can tell you that on July 23rd, I placed my order for six resin cages. That way I can break some and send some to friends to look at. Um, what was I going to say? Six of the resins and three of the ones in aluminum. And basically how you use the site once you get to PCB way, and I can put a, a link to it if you want. You've got all these choices up here of things. Here's one that says 3D printing. I'm going to go to that 3D printing. And again, you can click right here for 3D printing if you need to. And you're going to bring in a file. So in this case, let's bring in the file for the cage, which is right here. And it's uh, going to upload the cage. And while it's doing that, there's a quantity place. If you click here, they have some normal quantities. You can get a quantity of one for a price quote, a quantity of two, then it jumps up to five. My case, let's say I wanted exactly three, so down here you can uh, customize the quantity. So I went in here and I said three, submit. So now we've got a quantity of three. So they've got the file, they got the quantity, and then you're going to select what material you want to do it in. Now. This is a standard white urethane. When I communicated with them, they, they uh, suggested a particular material. I'm trying to remember how I got into the uh, material quote. I think we closed this. There we go. So here's all the different types of resins. They suggested that it was the, I think it was a Somos, S-O-M-O-S, Sumzo. Lido? I don't know. Anyway, I believe that's the one. Or it could have been the, the TARDIS. Once they arrive, I'll have the, uh, the bill and everything, and we'll know for sure which ones. So anyway, I ordered some of the resin ones, and it was either the Lido or the Taurus. I'm thinking it was the Taurus, but we'll see. But then you can also go <clears throat> and select metal. It doesn't have to be in resin. They can make them in nylon, PLA, ABS, PEG, TPU. TPU could be interesting. Uh, then you can get over here and aluminum. Like I said, I'd already gone through the prices and of all the metals, the aluminum was going to be the best price. And then you come down here and you've got choices if you want them to paint them or plate them or if there has to be any sort of uh, screws put into them or anything like that. And once you go through all of that, you can uh, add more parts. For example, I've got these three we just put in, and then I could add more parts of the resin ones that we just talked about. In my case, I had like six of those. And once you do all that, then you click on this, and it'll take you to the next page where they're going to evaluate your file versus your request and whether they think there's going to be any problems with it. And at that point, um, 
you get uh, the pricing. Now, you don't get the final pricing. What you, the pricing you get is for the parts, which is actually quite reasonable, if I remember right. Like I say, it'll all become clear once the parts arrive. Um, what you don't see until you actually get ready to place the order, you, you can still back out, but you have to take to the next step saying you want to place it. And to do that, you need to <clears throat> do a sign-in thing with them and all that, you know, create a, an account with them. And then the shipping appears. And the shipping is what really threw me. It was like 30 some odd bucks. And it, it, it could be higher. But the whole thing was it didn't matter if I was ordering one part and I, because I went back and did it a whole bunch of different ways. If I ordered 12 parts, the shipping stayed the same. There was still going to be um, a $30 or some odd charge piled up on top of that. It got kind of expensive. Please select the quantity. I thought I did select the quantity. Did it forget the quantity already? Let's do this. Submit again. Did it in the order. So right here it's saying uh, three of those aluminum, 3D printed in aluminum, is going to be only $29.87. Like I say, that number can change once they reviewed your order. But also, you're going to have to throw on that extra 30 or more dollars in shipping. So all of a sudden, it's up to 60 So at that point, you really, if you divide it down, you're looking like 20 bucks a cage. Is it worth it to you to get metal for 20 bucks a cage? Okay, well, let's... Take a look at what it would have been if we'd stayed in resin, in the land of resin. And if we'd stayed with their standard white, the price for three of them is $4.98. So that's very reasonable. Now, that, I think it was the Taurus. Let's take a look at it. If it was this one, now the price is $14.93 for three of them in resin, in what they were saying was their tough resin. And again, that seems so reasonable that it's just a, yeah, let's do it. But you got to have to throw that shipping on top there again. So, you know, now you're getting pretty close to 50 bucks. So you kind of factor it out that way. It really pays if you're going to need parts from them to order a lot of parts. Because I got a feeling this shipping reaches a cap point. As long as the parts aren't really big, they can fit them in one box. I think the shipping kind of just kind of stays around. 30 bucks. They use a DSL or somebody like that to ship all their stuff and you, you get it like within a week. The turnaround time on most of these parts is about 10 days and then the shipping on top of that which is going to be like a week or so. So we're they have already shipped the parts that I ordered. I got an email from them just today saying the parts were done and they've been shipped. So we'll see in another week or a week and a half, how long it takes when they get here, what the quality is like. Um, I should be able to look up the invoice and tell the exact price, but I think it's kind of academic at this point. Let's find out what the quality is like and whether they did everything I asked for and whether it's, you know, really good or not. I'm really interested to see how their, their resin ones come out, whether they're tough and stiff and would be good for a cosmetic part like this or whether they screwed it up and couldn't do it at all. I don't really mind if they did screw it up. These parts were inexpensive. <clears throat> the ones that I'm really hoping to uh, use would be the metal ones, because making these in wire is a real pain in the ass. You figure your time's worth something. <laughs> and when you shape and solder and hold all these and try to get it square and everything, it's a lot of work. And if they can do it for like uh, 10 or whatever it was, bucks we saw earlier, a piece, if you were ordering enough of something, doing a project together with friends, the shipping wouldn't be such a big deal. But if you're only ordering a very small number of things, the shipping could be a big deal. So we're going to find out. I've spent my money. I've spent almost 100 bucks. This is nothing that they are paying for or asking. All the other YouTube videos I've seen for PCBWay, the, uh, the YouTube channels are telling you right up front that they are being sponsored by PCBWay, which means they paid for the parts, nothing out of their pocket. And that's why you never hear about the shipping from any of those other people. The quality of what they've all shown on all the different videos I've watched looked outstanding. That's why I wanted to find out for myself, find out with my own money so I can say whatever I want to say. And 
it could be really interesting. Now, if you do need printed circuit boards, it is almost impossible to beat their prices on the printed circuit boards. Now, I haven't ordered boards from them, so I don't know what the shipping situation is on printed circuit boards. I would have to think it would have to be about the same. If you're like ordering one to five boards, you're probably going to pay more in shipping than you did for the boards. But uh, I don't know that for sure. I didn't go down that road. That uh, would have come in handy, what, a, a year and a half, two years ago when I did the Guitar Leslie project. So many guys have wanted to do it, but they don't know how to use proto board and point to point soldering and all that kind of stuff. The circuit boards would have made that project really easy for them. But I don't have any plans on going back and doing it. My Leslie's still working just fine. I'd rather spend my time doing new things. So, okay, this is just a heads up. We're going to know here shortly, a week, week and a half, however long it takes for the parts to get here, whether it was a good deal, a bad deal, or a somewhere in between deal.